The 3A softball sectional finals going on. Glenwood versus Centennial. The Lady Titans with just one loss on the season, and they'll show you why in the first inning. Runner aboard, and they are smooth. The 6-4-3 double play. How about offensively? The second inning, no score until Sammy Long cracks one back up the middle, gets by the outfielder. That'll score a run, and it's one to nothing. Glenwood wasn't even close to being done. Bases juiced for Remy. Yeah, Brooke Remen Schneider doubles all the way to the fence. That's going to score three. And just like that, it's five to nothing, Lady Titans, after two innings of play. Fourth inning, more offense. Bree Edgar, the grounder, that's going to score a run. And then they're going to get a little greedy, throw it away. Parker Bandy will come in to score. She might not have a future as a broadcaster, but she's a pretty good softball player. <clears throat> Fourth inning, Allison Long. She will continue the hit parade, the single to center. Maddie Torrey, come on down. It's seven zip. You want more? We'll give you hmm, one more. The sixth inning, there are two aboard for Abby Burton. Got it. She goes big fly. Three run jack for her. Glenwood cruises in this one. Final score. 12 to nothing. A lot of it was the the pressure we were able to put on them. You know, if you consistently are able to put pressure on other teams, things are going to happen good. And then obviously when you get one of your best hitters at the plate with the bases loaded and you're able to get a big hit, that, you know, that kind of opened it up a little bit. Um, our offense came out uh, pretty shaky at the first inning, but then we came back and got a lot of hits when we needed it. And... Um, we just hit very well. The nightcap out of Mount Zion featured Rochester and Mattoon. Not many Lady Rockets highlights, but we do have one. Two aboard in the first. Hannah Yatoni gets the strikeout and ends the threat. But Casey Starwalt was money. She struck out eight of the first nine Rockets she faced. And then the Green Waves offense would take over. Second inning, Casey Consendine, the two-run tater. Just like that, it's five to nothing, Mattoon. And then it was all Star Walt from there. She would pile up the strikeouts. She ends up with 16 of them, just two hits allowed. Mattoon wins 11 to nothing. They will face Glenwood in the sectional final.